Hello folks and welcome. Here you can see my brand new Parkside cordless impact vehicle range. I bought this a couple of months ago. I'm pretty sure you have seen lots of such tools, but have you ever wondered what's inside of them and uh, what is their working principle? So my plan for today is to disassemble this one, see what's inside and understand the exact working principle of this machine. So without further ado, let's first remove the battery. As you can see, it's working. So let's remove its battery. Now we have, as you can see, a lots of screws, but I'm planning to start with these four over here. Let's be careful right now. And it seems that we will have to remove the other screws also before being able to disassemble the tool. So let's proceed. And it seems that's all of them. Let's see if we manage to disassemble the tool. And success. Now, let's take a look what we have inside. Of course, we have powerful electric motor. We have the switch to reverse direction. We have some control board over here with the LED lamp and a switch for changing the torque settings. the direction switch is simply changing the motor polarity so finally I managed to remove the hammering mechanism of the impact range for us to take a better look at it First of all, we have this. Oh, it's not. It's a plastic sleeve with magnetic inserts. And it goes like this. Next, we have this bearing 
but I will need some sort of paper because it's quite oily. Now let's remove the bearing. Okay. And now let's try to remove the whole mechanism. But this will be difficult, I believe. We have a spring. So, here we have only a bearing left. Let me see if it's a bearing or it's a sleeve. No, I think this is only a metal sleeve. Leaving it like this. And here we have the whole impact gun mechanism. Here we can see the anvil and the hammering part. After removing most of the grease, this is what I managed to disassemble from the hammering mechanism without totally destroying anything. First of all, we have the metal casing, which is made of solid aluminium which is understandable because of the forces applied inside. We have here an uh, aluminium losher and of course a lots of grease. Next we have the so-called anvil. This is the part that is protruding out from the casing and this is the part where you attach your socket. We have a dust protector over here and this metal washer which goes like this. Next we have the hammer itself, this massive metal thing. The hammer is attached to the shaft with those tiny little steel balls here and here. In the rear of the hammer we have loaded spring and this metal casing which is housing three little sprockets. These sprockets, let me show you how they, how are they Insert it. Like this. Above the sprockets and their housing, we have this gear wheel, which goes like this. So the whole idea of the three little sprockets and the gear wheel is to reduce the forces that are applied to the motor shaft. Otherwise, those forces will simply destroy the motor or the plastic casing of the impact wrench and etc. Now let me show you how the whole assembly is realized. Of course here we don't have the metal casing which goes above everything but you have to remember that the gear wheel is not moving. The only thing that is moving is the hammer, its shaft, the spring and the sprockets. So when the motor is rotating, 
those are the parts that are rotating with its shaft now let me remove it let me disassemble the sprockets and their pins now I will show you how the hammering itself is happening let me remove those parts from the anvil this is what we all mean under hammering but how is this happening let's say 50 times every minute well it's quite simple when there is a force holding the anvil stationary and the motor is running and rotating the hammer will hit the anvil next the forces that are applied from the motor will retract the spring backwards toward towards the motor doing so the hammer will go backwards with the spring it, it will be something like this then the hammer will go under the anvil and when the hammer is no, and when the teeth of the hammer those two parts here are no longer under the anvil the spring will expand and the hammer will end up in this position now the motor is running and will rotate the hammer once again and we will have another hammering over the anvil so basically this is what's happening impact spring retraction again impact spring retraction again impact let me show you how the retraction of the spring is done when the motor is applying forces I will be holding the hammer the motor is applying forces you can see how the spring is retracting let me show you once more over here and you can see how the shaft is going upwards but when this whole thing is in the casing the shaft is stationary it's not moving the hammer is going downwards so basically this is how the hammering mechanism is realized in this impact range I finally understood the purpose of this metal washer with two magnets inside it's for reading the speed of the motor inside this plastic casing there is a speed sensor which is delivering information to the control board so folks it's finally time to reassemble my impact range here i have my green grease let's start with inserting the
Now let's place this special washer. Here we go, we have fully assembled mechanism. As good as new, it's time to test if everything is working as it should be. We have power. Let's see if we and that's all folks if you like the video thumbs up and subscribe